everyone. For my science project, I want to demonstrate the differences in conductivity between ionic and covalent bonds. But before I do the demonstration, let me, let me tell you guys a little bit about ionic and covalent bonds. Ionic bonds are created when a metal and a non-metal element bond with each other, and a covalent bond is created when two non-metal elements bond with each other. Both ionic and covalent bonds are surrounded by electron shells. The outer shell of electrons is called the valence electrons. Valence electrons are electrons that are bonding to the that are bond with other elements. Ionic bonds donate their valence electrons to the negative element, and covalent bonds share their valence electrons. Periodic trends are the patterns in the elements. For example, electronegativity increases as you move from left to right on the periodic table. The greater the electronegativity, the stronger the bond. What bond, what type of bond has greater electronegativity? Ionic or covalent? If you said ionic, you would be correct. What type of bond is allowed, is allowing conductivity? This is also an ionic bond. And now I'm gonna do the demonstration about the differences in conductivity between ionic and covalent bonds. So over here is my experiment. So let me draw your attention over here just for a moment. So over here we have two solutions. Over here I have two solutions. The solution on the right is distilled water, and the solution on the left is salt water. For this demonstration, I'm going to drop a 9-volt battery into each solution and see which one is the most reactive. So when I drop the 9-volt battery into the distilled water, See how, no re see how there's no reaction? But when I drop it into the salt water, see the reaction? That's because sodium is a metal, a metal element and salt is an ionic bond. Thank you for watching my demonstration.